Hey guys, it's Lee, and today I'm going to be making bacon bread in the bread machine. This bread is amazing for sandwiches. You have to try it. You'll love it. If you love bacon, you'll love it. I'm gonna start off with one and a third cups water. You want it room temperature, maybe just slightly warm, but not hot. Then you're going to add in one quarter cup butter. Mine was cold in the fridge, so I just microwaved it a little bit. It'll be fine. Next is three cups of bread flour. One cup of quick oats. I got these at the Dollar Tree. A quarter of a cup of brown sugar. One teaspoon of salt. And one and a half teaspoons of bread machine yeast. I'm gonna put that on the opposite corner from the salt. I don't know if you really need to do that. It's something I read a long time ago and I just keep doing it. Lastly, you need one quarter of a cup of bacon bits. I thought I had bacon bits, but I didn't. I did, however, have pre-cooked bacon, so I just chunked that up and I'm going to throw that in. I made these in bigger pieces, or I cut these in bigger pieces, because if you put them in at the start, the bread machine is just going to turn them into tiny little pieces, which is okay if that's what you want. But if you want bigger pieces, add them at the add ingredient beep. I made these a little bigger so that I can just let it go and it'll be fine. The bacon flavor is going to be all throughout the bread. It is going to be amazing. Then you put the pan in your bread machine. If you're looking for a bread machine, I really like this Cuisinart one. Paid for it myself, not sponsored, but I do have it linked down below in my products I use section. It is an Amazon affiliate link, just so you know. So you're gonna bake it on white bread. So for me, that's one. This is a two pound loaf, and the color, I want it to be light. Uh, you can choose whatever you prefer, and then hit start. bread is done. Now I'm just going to let it cool off before I cut it. Okay, so the bread is more or less cooled off. I think I'm going to cut it this way. It looks so nice. It's amazing. So I'm going to cut this piece off. Make sure you use a serrated knife when you cut your bread. This is what it looks like on the inside. Now remember I said that if you put the bacon in at the beginning, it's gonna get kind of ripped to shreds and that did happen, but I'm okay with that. If you want your bacon to be in bigger pieces, then you need to wait to, until the add ingredient beep. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a bite of this bread. This bread is so delicious. It is so good. You have to try this. If you love bacon, you have to try this bread. I also want to let you know that I do have a bread playlist and a baking playlist, and I will leave both of those linked below, as well as in the I cards up at the top right-hand side of your screen. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.